Welcome back to another exciting Python video with Professor C. We are now working with conditional statements. Conditional statements are where sometimes you want to do something and sometimes you don't. Um, I'm under in Blackboard and you'll see right here something called conditional statements explained. So picture, you know our code starts at the top and goes down. But here we have a decision point. You can either go this way or you can go this way, but you can't go both. So what we do is we write conditional statements using if, if else, <clears throat> and if elif. And we can use equal to, this is how you check for equality, not equal, less than, greater than, less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to. So if something, some condition, for example, just say if sex equals equals m for male, we can do something over here else, which means it's not equal to um, M or male, it'd be false and go to here. And we're going to see some more examples as we go along. So this is a good um, pictorial representation of how if statements work. Now, I like to make sure you check out this if Python challenge, and I'm constantly updating it. So right now we're up to version six. Hopefully in the future, I'll have more, more content to put in there as well. In class, I asked you, or when you're looking at this, if you're taking this in an online format, to write the Moose County Fair. So you're going to prompt and receive the age of a fair goer. Depending on the age, if they're less than five, their admission zero. If they're between six and 12, and that's inclusive of age six and inclusive of age 12, you get four, 13 to 18, five, 19 to 22, six, 23 to 64, 850. 65 or older, be $6. And you output the fair admission. Here's the solution. And I'm actually going to show you three different versions of it, and this is the first one I want to show you. So you see, what is your age? And we treat their age as an integer because we're looking at full ages. We don't look at half age. If, for example, someone types in 3, if I age, which is the value of 3, is less than or equal to 5, notice the colon, this happens. And it signs 0 to here. Then it continues to check. Is 3 greater than or equal to 6? And the answer is false. Is I age greater than um, equal to 19 faults, 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 and we put it up to the screen. Say someone was, I don't know, we'll say 42. Is 42 less than or equal to 5? False. Is 42 greater than or equal to 6? That part's true. And notice how I have IH here. I got to repeat it for the second compare. So we said 42, I think it was. If IH is greater than 6, is 42 greater than or equal to 6? And is I age, with, which is 42, is less than or equal to 12. That's false. So this part would be true. 42 is greater than 19, but 42 is not less than 22. Then we follow down in here. If 42 is greater than 23 and 42 is less than or equal to 64. Remember the value 42 comes from this variable that we inputted up here. And then it checks one more time, and then it puts out to the screen. Can anyone think of how we could improve this code? I'll let you ponder that for a moment. If you said that these are separate if statements that aren't the most efficient, you're correct. Because remember, if you said someone's age was three, you would check here and you would sign zero to the emission, but you would keep checking, slowing down the computer. An alternative to this, and actually let's run it real quick. We'll put in the age of three. And you'll notice we get the emission is zero. And if we run it again, you'll see we'll put in 42. And you see that false, true, false, true, false, true, and true, and you end, end up with 850. But we still check here. What I'd like you to consider is look at this code as, a, as an alternative. This is called version two of the code, or option two of the code. And I forgot to output the... Um, findings. So we're going to come down here and we're going to grab it right here. We're going to put it in here and we are ready to go. All right. So let's take a look at this code. Notice we link the separate if statements with elifs. You start off with an if and you create an else if. So let's do the example of three. We take in the age of three. Is three less than or equal to five? True, we set the admission to zero, and we skip all these and come down to here, saving unnecessary checks because we linked them with else if. We make a match here, we do this, and we skip down to here. And if we did 42, age of 42, false, 
Is 42 greater than or equal to 6? True, but 42 is not less than or equal to 12. So true and false, true and false, true, and 42 is less than or equal to 64, true. And then we skip over the last and we come down here. Notice we have an if, and then notice we have an else, and everything else is else if. If I get to here, such as the age of my dad, who's 90, if he was, we typed in 90, this is false, 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 you end up here. So if I end up here, I know that the person's age is greater than 65. Let's try running this code. And you may not see it, but it runs much faster than the separate if statements. And this is the preferred way of doing things. And notice false, 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 and we end up here. Is there yet another way we could write this code? I'm going to ask you to think about that. I'm going to also show you another way to write this code. I'm showing you three ways. Okay, option three, notice the if here looks exactly as here, but I ask you to compare this to this one. Notice we go from low age up to high, and we only look at the high end range. So let's do three again. Someone types in three and it goes here. Is three less than or equal to five? True, we set the emission to zero and we skip to here. Say someone did 42. Is 42 less than or equal to five? False. Is 42 less than or equal to 12? False. If I get to here, I know the above have not been true or this would have been caught. So I'm here. Is 42 less than or equal to 22? False. Is 42 less than or equal to 64? True. We set the emission to 8.5 and we skip the rest. When I get to here, that means all the other above compares were false or I wouldn't have gotten to here. If someone was 90, false, 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 and I end up here with no if as the last resort. So now you have three different ways you could write the same code. I hope you gravitate to writing code this way or this way. Option two and three are exactly the same, except it's less typing. This may not be as clear because you have to look above and say, oh, if I get to here, you got to be between six and less than or equal to 12. Up here, you can clearly see the low end of the range is clear and the high end of the range is clear as well. I'll see you for our next video very soon.